A New Beginning January 16, 2015 Greetings and great volumes of love are extended to each soul upon the earth at this present time. In the ascension process we are all moving through on the earth and the inner planes you are extremely valuable, your presence is for a reason and a purpose, this is the same for all of humanity. Many of you have journeyed through lifetime after lifetime, most of your past lifetimes have been in service to others for you have supported and observed many move towards and through their ascension processes becoming ascended masters. While your focus was also on your own spiritual evolution, your service and support given to others allowed you to observe the ascension process multiple times. While those souls you assisted to ascend no longer exist upon the physical earth, you still remain continuing upon your journey of spiritual evolution to obtain your own personal ascension process as well as continuing to act as a source of support for others. I share this information with you now as I wish to remind you of the greater meaning and purpose of your reality upon the earth at this time while also illuminating the reason why we channel our energy and wisdom to support you now. While you observe the ascension of many, you are collecting valuable information and light frequencies which illuminated your truth and enhance the light frequency of your own being and the earth. Great value has come from your previous lifetimes on the earth. There may be some ascended masters who you are deeply fond of and feel a strong connection with. It is most likely the familiar sensations demonstrated you assisted the ascension of the master, male or female, while they were on the earth and so a part of their ascension exists within your being. These masters, such as myself Master Kathumi, now channel wisdom and consciousness to you, not to demonstrate their evolution or to act as teacher. They simply wish to trigger remembrance and the further recognition of your truth. In many ways we are not the important ones, you are, you who remains upon the earth. We opened the gateways and paved the way, yet we only achieved this because of your support and to support you, your mission and existence upon the earth now. We all, including yourself, knew a time of tremendous growth and spiritual awakening would occur upon the earth, a golden time. You place yourself forward to be present on the earth throughout large stages of humanity's evolution because you knew your own inner strength and wise loving power. We wish for you to know, you see us as beings to aspire to, and yet the roles have been reversed, we are learning and evolving so much from observing your great and sacred existence upon the earth. It was divinely planned that you would observe the ascension of some ascended masters so that they could then support you from the inner planes. Our ascension was all for you, so you could be present and an example of the Creator's light at this pinnacle point of ascension. You are now collecting wisdom and light frequencies which in turn enthuses our souls. We are all united as one and so you are akin to our higher selves. You may see yourself as lacking, powerless, or not at all sacred. This is only a projection of the ego and a misinterpretation. Please know the wisdom insights, and frequencies of light you activate within your being in your daily routine are valuable and essential for the ascension process of all souls. Your own personal ascension quietly and yet powerfully fuels the ascension of all as we are all one, interconnected eternally. With my words describing you as special and extremely valuable on the earth now, I am speaking directly to your soul rather than to your ego. Our ascension was witnessed by few. Your ascension is witnessed by all, as all aspects of the Creator awaken to their interconnectedness and oneness with all. Dedicate yourself to your personal ascension with the knowingness that this is the greatest service you can provide and the reason you are present now. It is because you are strong, you easily receive the high frequency light. You are wise already holding the wisdom of the new age within you and deeply compassionately loving. You are truly equipped to live upon the earth at this time of ascension. It is time for you to use your sacred skills to truly enjoy your reality upon the earth, a reality enthused with the light and love of the Creator. This will create an incredible surge in the ascension process. With this knowingness developing within your being from your soul and the sacred frequencies anchoring into your being, two shifts will begin to occur for you and all. The profound development and expression of creativity will arise, not from the personality, from the soul. This creativity will be enthused with the divine vibrations of your soul, soul group, 
and the Creator, thus supporting, encouraging, and manifesting the essence of the Creator physically upon the earth. You may have noticed this in yourself and those around you, the need to be creative, to become involved with diverse forms of art, most importantly to express yourself creatively. You may also notice that when you or others embark upon these creative actions of any form, that they are easily and quickly achieved allowing the talent for the creative project to grow immensely. Many people may find themselves picking up an instrument and being able to play in a very short time, or finding they can write, draw, sing, or so forth when maybe in the past it seemed impossible. The energy of the Creator which is activating and expanding more fully than ever before, requires embodiment and expression to further aid the manifestation. The expression of the Creator at this time is through creativity as the creativity of the Creator will come forth alongside passion, truly creating wonderful surges in embodiment and ascension upon the earth. Allow yourself to be open to the development of your own creative energies as this is the Creator expressing and expanding through you. The second major shift which is occurring at this time of ascension is due to the crucifixion energies anchoring upon the earth and within your being. This sacred energy which has numerous purposes as described in previous communications has the purpose of completing cycles which are no longer needed in your reality, being, and consciousness. Each soul upon the earth has one or more major lessons they have come to the earth to master in order to accept the energetic templates and codes of the energy to aid further ascension. These cycles are now ending, the lessons now coming to an end, and so freedom is being granted by you to yourself. For example, when you view your past reality, you may notice patterns such as lack of abundance, ill health, loss, or failure. If there is a continuous pattern which you recognize has been present for most of your lifetime, then this is the pattern your soul has come to overcome, to learn, and to grow from. You may have experienced patterns of lack of abundance to result in yourself receiving the energetic codes and templates of abundance. Ill health would allow you to receive the energetic codes and templates of absolute health. Loss may be to ground energies of unity and inner strength while failure to access completion at a sacred level. The energy of crucifixion begins to encourage you to bring closure to these cycles of lessons and growth present throughout most of your lifetime, because it is time to now experience the value of the lessons, the triumph, and experience of obtaining the codes of the energies your soul wishes to access experiencing fully in your physical reality. As the crucifixion symbolizes the end of the cycles of valuable lessons and growth guided by your soul, so the forthcoming energies of the resurrection aid and encourage your experience of the energies gained through the lessons overcome. I encourage you to call me forth, Master Kathumi, asking my energies to embrace you in quiet time or meditation. Encourage yourself to contemplate these questions in order to understand where your focus is required how you can truly benefit from the crucifixion period and easily move through this period with ease. This may take time, space, and dedication, yet it will offer to you a deeper seated freedom from within your being. What are your main cycles of growth present throughout your physical reality which you may not have yet fully overcome or mastered? What is the energy your soul is seeking through the repetition of the patterns? What is stopping you from anchoring? activating and embodying this sacred energy now. This is such an important time for your soul as you consciously overcome processes of growth which previously would take many lifetimes. You are allowing yourself to see the reason you were born on this earth and that which your soul seeks to embody and became at a physical level, thus you create a new beginning for yourself upon the earth in this fantastic time of ascension. Examples of energies your soul might be seeking are love, faith, compassion, strength, courage, peace, clarity, devotion, unity, trust, happiness, abundance, and so forth. Such simple energies which naturally exist within you and yet your soul wishes to experience and embody them wholly. My constant loving support is with you. Master Kathumi Channeled through Natalie Glasson www.omna.org